Well, today I'm going to show you my full-size Federation blaster pistol or rifle from Blake 7. Uh, I made this a couple of days back. I've um, been on a bit of a Blake 7 kick at the moment. Um, I do a podcast with a friend of mine, uh, Eric, um, and that's available on Neo's as called Blake 7 in Character. Um, and we've been sort of talking about this for a few weeks now, and I thought... I've had a go before for one of these. I want to do one properly because I normally make one out of like just cardboard, things like that. So I thought I'd, I'd actually put the effort into this one. Um, so it's quite a simple design, to be honest. Um, I'll run through each part. So the main barrel, without these bits on, is just 40 mil, oh, come back, 40 mil PVC tube. That was from B and Q. I think it was about three or four quid for a three meter length. Got absolutely tons of it left. And then these bits, the top detail is uh, just conduit in. So this is uh, 10 mil by 12 mil plastic conduit in. Again, from B&Q, trunk in, you can call it as well. Um, and again, that, I think that was the one of the most expensive parts. That was a fiver for a two meter length. There wasn't quite enough to make a second gun, which I was gonna make two at once on this one. Um, so basically you've got the body and this end part are the uncut 40 mil tube and then this part I just cut a slot out of the tube, cut a piece out and shrunk it down to fit inside. The handle is made from MDF uh, and that was just a, I've got quite a large sheet of uh, 18 mil MDF, I think that was about three quid and cut the shapes out for that and the, the shoulder stock and then the cladding on it and it's nice and smooth this is plasticard and when my local HMV closed down many moons ago they chucked all their sheets that I don't know if you remember these were between the DVDs so you would be able to find Family Guy and then there would be different ones so you see it and they chucked away probably several thousand of these but it's really really good plastic card. It glues lovely, it's really easy to work with, you can laminate it to make plastic shapes. So I've got tons of plastic card, so I tend to use it for everything, and this is just edged or covered right up to the edge in plastic card. The trigger is just plastic card box I made and then sanded down. Um, the detail, the greeblers, now these I, I thought, because I'd made my pursuit ship uh, out of my um, insulin pen and I thought I wanted to put some insulin pen parts on this so this which on the original I think was a bell push this is the end of the insulin pen just cut down this is the internals of it this is just a plastic card box with a, a bit out of a, a ship model stuck on it this is the, uh, the screw thread that, for the insulin pen and this is the needle tip with the needle cut off so that's the same as the uh, the back of the Federation pursuit ship. The uh, sight is just plastic card. This is just a screw. Um, I didn't really have any wire and I thought the screw give it a nice, it's not screen accurate, but give it a nice uh, bit of texture. The red trim is just a sticky back vinyl. The silver trim is just sticky, sticky back aluminium tape. And then if we turn it over, this is just aluminium tube. I had an old bit of aluminium tube. The, the end of a Pentel pen and then screwed on the back. And these are just D-rings with uh, brass clasps and just screwed on. And then the stock just has some red trim on it. Um, it came out really well. I was very pleased with it. The total cost for this, the most expensive part was the spray paint, which was $6.99 from Halfords. I thought last time I bought them they were like 99p. So the total cost for this worked out to about 15 quid. I've dirted the end up on the gun, you can see, just to make sure it looks like it's files. I don't know what I'm going about the inside. I might put a blanking plate on there. Um, but yeah, it's it's really nice. It's quite sturdy as well. The last one I made was cardboard instead of wood. Um, I've got no sort of uh, specialist tool, so anyone could make one of these. So basically I've just used a hacksaw to cut it out. Um, sanding it down. I've got. If you had a um, like a, a vertical saw, um, table saw type thing, you would cut these out really good. But I just use like a coping saw for the corners. As you can see, I haven't got a lot of tools. Um, 
and then the rest is just ingenuity and, and making do with what you can. Um, but yeah, I, I was really pleased. I think it's one of my nicest builds. So I don't know what to make next, but there you go. Well, thanks for watching. Um, any questions, just ask in the comments below. Um, and I'll uh, see you again. Thanks a lot then. Bye.